Hi, I'm Cash from Cashed Out Longboards, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a cruiser board. The first step to making your cruiser board is marking your materials. Today I'm using 8th inch Baltic birch. If you are using 8th inch material, you will need to cut three sheets. Mine are 7 by 24 inches. The next step is to cut out your material. Make sure your material is clamped down and that you wear safety glasses. I'm using a circular saw for the cut. Now you should have your sheets of plywood ready to be pressed into your board. The first step to making your press is to get a good solid board that won't bend under a lot of pressure. I'm using a 2x8 because it's roughly the width of the board I'm building. To give your board concave, you will want to cut quarter inch thick strips of wood that will be attached to the sides of your press. This will make the sides of your board higher than the middle, giving it concave. Use small screws to hold the wood strips in place so they don't move while pressing your cruiser. This shot shows how the concave press works. If you want your cruiser to have a kicktail, cut an angle of about 20 degrees in the board you will use to press your cruiser. You will want to file this sharp angle so the wood doesn't break while pressing. You could also use a belt sander which will make it much easier. Take the wedge created when you cut the 20 degree angle and attach it to the press with a screw. Make sure it is centered and the wood you will use for your cruiser lines up with the back of the wedge. When you're ready to press your board, get clamps and wood glue. I'm using Tight Bond 3. You're going to want extra help for gluing so the glue doesn't dry before you want it to. If you use wood clamps, size them up before you glue so that way you don't have to waste time during the gluing process. Cut cardboard squares to spread the glue. Now you're ready to glue and press your cruiser. Make sure you use a lot of glue and that you get it on the edges of the wood. This will make your board last a long time and prevent it from delaminating. Once you have glue evenly spread over one sheet, evenly spread glue over another one too. Put the first sheet on the second sheet with the glue sides touching. Then glue the top of the second sheet. Finally glue the third sheet and again put the glue sides touching. Line up the back of your cruiser with the back of the press and center it. Now take the board you will use to press your cruiser and center it over the press. Make sure the back of it lines up with the kicktail. Start clamping the board at the front. This will make sure it doesn't slide while being pressed. I would recommend using C clamps to press this down, but if you use wood clamps like me, tighten them with vice grips. Here's the board in the press. You could come back in about 24 hours and take it out. After about 24 hours, take the clamps off. Here's the pressed cruiser, ready to be cut out. This shows how much concave the board has. Now you can draw your design on your blank uncut cruiser. I recommend making a design out of cardboard first so you could see the shape and size. 
Now it's time to cut out your cruiser. I used a jigsaw for the cut. It is important to cut just outside the line so you can sand the board to the perfect shape. Next use a belt sander to smooth the edges of your cruiser. This will remove marks left from the saw, leaving it perfectly smooth. If you don't have a belt sander, files and sandpaper will do the job. Your cruiser's edges could be rounded with the file, although this takes a long time. If you have access to a router, use that. It will save you a lot of time. After your filing is done, smooth off the edges with sandpaper. Start with low grit coarse sandpaper and work up the higher grit smooth stuff. Here is the final sanded shape of the cruiser. Now you can give your board some personalization by adding stain and paint. Here I am getting ready to stencil my cruiser. Make sure the edges are taped down to ensure you get sharp non-fuzzy lines. Use newspaper to make sure you don't get paint on the parts of your cruiser you don't want to. If you have letters with removed centers, like O's, glue them in with a glue stick. This will make sure they don't move when you spray paint your design. Now spray over your design. Make sure you do a light coat. Let the paint dry for about a minute, then remove the newspaper and cardboard stencil. I like to use a razor blade to remove the center of the letters, as shown here. If you want to stain your cruiser, tape over the parts of the board that you don't want to get stained on. I use tape to make pinstripes, as shown here. Don't use too much stain to make sure it doesn't bleed under the tape. Also, I use newspaper to help keep the stain off the board. Remove the tape to reveal your design. Here's my stained cruiser, ready for clear coat. I use polyurethane to clear coat my boards. It leaves a nice finish that is waterproof and durable. Start with the top of the board and make sure you cover the entire area, leaving no spots dry. You only need two coats for the top because the grip tape will also help protect the wood. Make sure to clear coat the sides of your cruiser during every coat. Scuff the surface of the polyurethane between coats. This will remove imperfections and bumps, leaving a smoother final coat. Now it's time to clear coat the bottom of the cruiser. If you have drips from when you coated the top, sand them off. This will make the bottom coat more even. I like to do three coats on the bottom of my boards. Make sure you scuff between coats and do the sides. Now you need to drill holes in your cruiser for the trucks. Use a straight edge to line up the trucks and center them over the board. Use a drill bit about the same size as the hardware you will use to mount the trucks. If your hardware doesn't fit in the holes you've drilled, Drill them again with the next size up bit. To apply the grip tape, peel off the back and stick it on. Push down the grip tape from the middle of the board out to make sure there are no bubbles. You can also use a rubber or wooden roller to make sure your grip tape adheres well to your board. Use something metal and rub down the edges of the board. This will make a line to cut on and will also remove the sand on the grip tape to make cutting easier. Use a razor blade to cut out the grip tape. Try to cut with the most continuous motion possible. This will leave you with a clean cut. Use a pointed tool to poke holes in the grip tape where the trucks will mount. I use the countersink to remove the remaining grip tape and the holes. It also allows screws with angled heads to sit flush in the wood. Now the cruiser deck is complete. Add trucks and wheels and then go have fun with it. Here are some shots of my finished cruiser. Here are some shots of me riding the board. Finished cruiser board, ready to ride. Show it to your friends with penny boards or stereo cruisers to make them jealous. Post comments about this video 
or anything you would like to see in future videos in the box below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.